morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. The channel where we believe in Bitcoin with a beautiful cap. I still love this cap, I just love the down here and this cap. Guys, in today's video, looking at the Bitcoin charts, maybe even peeking at Ethereum, looking what is happening before this amazing weekend of the 6th of August will begin. And mostly these weekends are volatile. Uh, for my family, it's going to be volatile because we are now with... I say 10 in the house and today five more guests are arriving so we will be with 15 of which will be six pubers that is going to be awesome <clears throat> let's jump into the jar This is the first chart where my face is on the wrong place. We will put it over here, but you can see the price is 40,800 US dollar for one Bitcoin. It's a long time ago you could buy it for thousand dollar. It was the time when I started to buy. But now talk about the charts and not about what you did, because people don't want to hear that again. They already heard that many times. Now let's look at the charts. Um, this is a day chart. On this day chart, I told you guys, yeah, and also the four on the one hour chart, we will pull back to 37,500 and then try to go up and break that red line. This thick red line on top there, that's a 200 day moving average. We need to break that one as well, but let's first focus on this thin red line, the downward trend, the most important line we need to break at the moment because high, lower high, and now we need to create a high that is breaking that line so we can create maybe even a higher high later that's like 60k but that's for law for later um, this is now the focus breaking 40,000 on the daily and then breaking 43,000 on the daily that is what we want to see um, if we look at here at BAM yes that is the BAM indicator that is when you zoom in and you want to trade the one hour chart the one hour chart for example was a long call over there uh, let's see just taking a look long closing above the yellow stepping line we have a lot of green and a green dot coming in the BAM BAM closing uh, crossing the white line in the middle over there so that's all confirmation of taking that long and um, we have the green line on top we didn't have the green line on top so that was the only one that was not really positive but still three confirmations from here to the short six percent that would be an amazing trade if it is up to me now the short to be clear as well again you have a short flag we did see a closing down below the yellow stepping line that's two confirmations but there is a lot of green there is no yellow or blue the bam bam did cross but if there is no yellow or blue it's a very risky trade still if you would have taken the trade you could have made profit of course um, but then you needed to be at the screen and you would 0.6% with the leverage. So for me, the moment we see a lot of green, that's a lot of bullish momentum in the market, I don't think you're making a great short. So at the moment, we are trying to reverse the whole pattern, you know, from bearish trend to bullish trend. So it's always difficult to make shorts. In my opinion, don't short when we are trying to become bullish. But that's my opinion. Let's jump into BAM, this one over here. This is the most important chart we and you and me and you and you and all my other personalities. <laughs> I have six of them. They talk to me all the time. They tell me Bitcoin is going up, Bitcoin is going down, Bitcoin is going sideways, Bitcoin is going down, then up all these guys but the most important chart guys is the weekly chart <sighs> motherfucking crazy guy hmm and why the weekly chart because on the weekly chart something awesome is happening and the awesomeness is that we need to break that yellow line on top people refer to this beautiful colorful ribbon as the ema ribbon the uh, the top line is the 21 ema i adjusted it you can adjust them yourselves by going into the settings the top line for me is a 21 ema why because in history that line has been very important and i want us to close this weekly candle above that 21 ema and we are very close in doing that we just need to close about 40k that is very bullish then the next green candle will start above that yellow line and then we need to go up again mostly when we break out of these ema ribbons we found support on the bottom line oops sorry and then when you break out of them like we did over here you get these huge runs like 
here, you break out of them, you get these huge runs. And that is very important. And the top line, like you can see, the 21, you see, in the bull run of 2017, the one most of you still remember, that was support all the time. You see, we go up and we come down to the top line. We go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and up. And then we broke it, and that was the bear time, bearish run. Bam, all the way to the bottom, over there. And now we need to make sure, in my opinion, that we come above that yellow line again and then break it and then go to the midline 50k and then to the 60k and then to the 100k. Is it still possible to reach that 100k? In my opinion, it definitely is. And that is all, if you look at this one on the bottom here, also really important because that one is indicating if we have the power to break it. <clears throat> and that is uh, represented in the stock RSI. And we have been down below this 20 area now for, I think, 150 days almost. That didn't happen many times before. I think 2011 and 2014. The moment we see this cross, the blue line crossing the red line, and then the blue line crossing inside this blue box, that is when we need to get very bullish. Every time when we do that, we see a run. Look, um, over here we start blue line, cross the red line, into the box. That is the run from 3K to 14K. 2017 bull run, the same. The moment we crossed it, it was these huge runs. So it's very important, guys, that we do this now. Here again, we came down below, the blue crossed, we went up, huge run. Uh, you, you, you all know this run, 10K to 60K. Do we have any other cool charts? Yes, we have very cool charts. We have all cool charts. So again, to sum it up, close above the 21 EMA, that will be very bullish. This one going into the blue box, again, very bullish. Okay, now let's jump into some other charts that also are very important. Bam! The bam was there, a little bit stuck. Sorry, I don't give him. <coughs> Modest, he would try to rhyme. Okay, this chart. This chart is what everybody's talking about. This is the illiquid supply shock ratio and the exchange supply shock ratio. Which means if there are less bitcoins available to the market and there's a lot of demand, the price will go up. So that is what we call a shock. Now, if you look at the blue and the purple line, the blue line is the illiquid supply shock ratio and the purple line, the exchange supply shock ratio. Shh, you go slipple by this. We just saw this huge lag up over here. Pull back, and now we see another leg up. The blue line as well. Two lines, blue and purple, way above the gray line, which is the price line. That means that the supply shock ratio line and the exchange supply shock ratio lines are moving for uh, are moving up front of the price move, in my opinion. So the bigger this shock is, the bigger the price movement will be. So for me, I'm looking at an explosive explosive price increase from this level we are going to go above 60k we are going to go for the 100k at the end of the year if all the things that i just talked about in the charts will happen bam not a really cool chart this one this is created by charts btc over there what do you see on this chart it's very simple on this chart you can see that um, after the halving how many days it took to go to the new bull run top. That is what you see. So after the halving in the blue line, this is from 2012, you see that the top was reached after 372 days after the halving and it went times 92. Then the second time, the 2017 run, it took 526 days after the halving and it went times 30. Okay? Now we are at 450 days, so 370 days, 520 days, that's a little bit more days than there, let's say like 150 days or something. So if we would calculate another 150 days, uh, we could even uh, get at 670 days, somewhere over here. That is a possibility. And then you would see a line like, you know, like this to the top. And then we would not be at 4.7, but we would probably still be at like 8 or 10. 
and that would be 10 since the halving, that would be 80k. That could be some way that Bitcoin is going to move, but again, we never know, because Bitcoin can also do just this, like go up and again and somewhere in December. All possibilities, but this chart is showing you guys how and where we are at the moment at the bull run. We are not at the end, we are just coming up again from a correction and we need to create this blow off top somewhere. That is what I think. Okay, that's clear. Okay, let's jump into BAM this one. This is the Bitcoin cycle peak index. On the cycle peak index, you can see the same guys. Um, here you can see how one second how uh, many days it took from the prior cycle peak to the new cycle peak and how much we went up so this was the prior cycle peak and now it took 900 days at the blue line over here and we went 39 39 times higher than the previous peak the red line we went 17 times higher than the previous peak and it took almost 1500 days like 1450 days now we are at two times 2.1 times the previous cycle peak and we are at 14 days uh, 1350 days sorry so we have another 100 days if we would copy the 2070 move to reach a higher peak and maybe it's only a eight time peak but then still that would be 160,000 39 divided by 2 is like almost 17 it's like 19 i know or 20 almost but let's say that divided by 2 70 divided by 2 is 9 then for example um then you will have nine times twenty thousand dollar the previous autumn high is one hundred eighty thousand dollar would be then the peak really cool charts talking too much too long again bam because i need to prepare i need to pick up my friends at the airport that was everything for today i hope you really enjoyed it if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and believe in bitcoin and let me know down below in the comments what you think about these charts thank you for watching i wish you an amazing friday an amazing weekend two lives this weekend yes i will do two lives a dutch one on saturday and an english one on sunday sorry i didn't do them last week life is just too busy at the moment and i want to keep you up to date on the prizes so give me some space Bam.